Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to convert the trailing negative sign in a value into a negative number. Now, you may see some files like this where uh, you have a number and it looks like it's a negative number, but the negative sign is on the right side and not on the left side. Now, when Excel sees this, it thinks that that particular value is a text string. You notice that when you look at numbers, like in this example, there are lines to the left. But text, if I type in uh, just some text here, name, it's a line to the, um, excuse me, it's a line to the left. Numbers are aligned to the right, but text strings are aligned to the left. So it thinks that this particular uh, value here, which is a, ne a negative number um, in all sense and purposes, it is a text string. How do we convert this to a value, a number value, and bring that negative symbol over to the left? Now, if we had Excel versions 2010 and earlier, I think this was more of a convoluted process. I have another video that shows you how to do it. But in later versions of Excel, you can actually use the text to columns feature to easily convert this into a negative number. So how do we do that? Let me select the column here, go to data, and go to text to columns. This is Excel 2016. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through the, through the wizard here and go to step three. So step one is fine. It's still limited. And step two is also fine. I'll take the default. Now in step three is where we want to make sure that we have a certain checkbox selected. Now we're going to go to advance and make sure this particular checkbox is selected, trailing minus for negative numbers. So once that's checked, I'll click OK, and it's going to uh, give me a preview. I'm going to just select general and click finish. And now you notice that it's changed it. You can see that it's changed the data to a negative number. And that's actually a very easy way to do it if you've received this type of data where you have the negative symbol over on the right and Excel sees it as a string. Uh, as I said before, earlier versions of Excel might not make, the, make it as easier, but I believe in Excel 2013 and up, when you use this text to column feature, you can actually convert the trailing negative to make that value from a text string into a number. And you can do a lot of, uh, of uh, manipulation on numbers now. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.